So she leads him inside the room before slowly approaching her. Suddenly, he kisses her on the lip. In school, your teacher kissing a little bro. That's why the teacher orders him to head to the back seat where she joins him shortly. No! Yo, skitty gang. I do be live on Twitch, Zara's YT, making these videos too as well. If you didn't, if you didn't know, you still might not even know. I have a second channel. We do not care. Don't look it up now. No, it's on the screen, but don't look it up now. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I do post way more videos on my second channel than my main channel. So if y'all want to see more content coming from me, you know, go subscribe to my second channel. I will be vlogging there pretty soon. I love you all so much. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Enjoy the video. Mary teacher desperate for a baby falls in love with the student. Yo, you, you smashing students out here, bro? An English teacher develops a romantic relationship with her teenage student after offering him free tutoring lessons. Claire Wilson, an English teacher, Dang. prepares for her first day at Westerbrook High School for the 20. What the role? What the roles are reversed? What was a man and a girl? He was going to jail hallway, for life. She asks Catherine, the French teacher, where the faculty room is, explaining that she is new. Catherine asks her where she transferred from, and Claire says she used to teach at Riverton Middle School. Yo, During yo, the morning faculty meeting, Principal Rivas introduces the new English teacher to the rest of the staff. Then the French teacher says they should go out for drink soon so she can catch her up on the inner workings of the school to claire's delight that afternoon claire stops by the grocery store to grab a few items while there she sees a lipstick display takes one tube and deftly slips it into her bag nah, in her car, she, she takes the lipstick out and tries it on in front of the mirror that night while preparing for bed claire tells her husband matt that she wait she has a husband wishes he didn't have to go on his work trip he agrees, especially since she's ovulating, and it'd be the ideal time for them to try and conceive. The woman says they can always try again next month. Matt then asks her about her day, and she confesses to stealing the lipstick in the store earlier. He's Shame. been used by her actions, but she just brushes it off as a harmless deed. The next nah, day, Claire that's crazy. meets her Still senior crazy. English class for the first time, and friends Eric and Josh are in awe of their beautiful teacher. As she reads aloud Dylan Thomas's poem, Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night, the student curiously stares at the woman. Later, Eric steps into Mr. Castillo's office to inquire about the Travis County Community Scholarship. The older man says him being the soccer team captain and his part-time job at the diner are positives on his pending application, but he'll have to score at least 1,250 on his SATs, so the student mm. promises that he'll work on it. That afternoon during soccer practice, Logan sees Claire getting into her car and asks Eric who the attractive woman is. He says she's their new English teacher, but complains that she assigned a lot of homework for them to do. After practice, Logan pulls up Eric's ex-girlfriend Allison's Instagram profile and remarks that she wasn't this beautiful when she and his friend were together. Then, dang, they, they, they dissed her. <laughs> they, they said, nah, it's crazy. He looks at Josh's sister Mary's profile and teases his friend that his sister's also gotten more attractive over the summer. Moments later, sister? Eric asks Josh to give him a ride to work, which his friend obliges. Meanwhile, Matt texts Claire that his flight was cancelled, and encourages his wife to go out and celebrate her first day of school. When she looks down at her microwave dinner, she grabs her things and heads out. Just as Eric's shift is ending, Logan and Josh signal him from outside to head to the back of the diner. There, they pass around a spliff containing an illegal substance. Before nah, pressuring bro, the they are here smoking a joint. Scoom Alabama is Inside, crazy. While the three friends are at a booth, Logan spots Claire at the counter and says he wants to introduce himself. Soon, Eric and Josh begrudgingly join him at the counter and sit next to the teacher. Moments later, Logan gets a text from his mother to come home, so he and Josh leave. The lone student remarks that his friends think the food he orders is free just because he works at the diner, so Claire insists she pay for the milkshakes. She says she used to work okay. at the diner herself. Okay, sugar mama, okay? But you still, that's still a little, a minor. Pause and knows how difficult it can be to make money at a young age. Their conversation drifts to college applications, and he says he wishes to get a scholarship so he can attend the University of Texas. However, he's already taken his SATs twice and fell short of the score requirement both times. Suddenly, he suggests that maybe the teacher can tutor him for the exam, 
and she says if the school allows it, she'd be up for it. Later, after the meal, Twitter? she offers him a ride home. In the car, she mentions that her brother, a cop, lives in the same area that Eric does. Then, she plays a Frank Ocean song on the radio, and Eric is surprised that a teacher listens to this type of music, finding her even more interesting. While lying in bed, the teacher checks her phone and sees that Eric sent her a follow request, no. but she chooses not to accept it. Yeah, that night, Claire that's crazy. has a dream where she shares an intimate moment with her student <gasps> in a little bed. What? That's a little kid, bro. He's a teenager. Imagine if the roles were reversed and that was a man doing that to a woman, bro. You would literally be gone for life. Like, nah, bro. Nah, but you're cooked. You're cooked, buddy. They're cooked. Suddenly, Matt wakes her up and says he was able to catch a late flight to get home. Although he just wishes to go to bed since he's tired from traveling, Claire tells him they should make love so they don't waste her ovulation cycle. That weekend, the woman dresses up to go out, and when Matt asks her where she's headed, she says she's having brunch with Catherine. However, she's actually meeting up with Eric at the diner so they- Nah, she getting ready for some teenager pee? You gotta go. You're cooked, buddy. You're actually cooked, bro. This little bro, this teacher's meeting with the student is crazy. Their first tutoring session. One month later, Eric and his friends are at a house party where he ends up making out with his ex-girlfriend Allison. In the middle of the tryst, Logan walks in along with Mary. So Allison tells them to leave and says Mary can do so much better. Soon, the cops arrive what? to bust the teenagers drinking alcohol and using illegal substances. Eric tries to escape, but the moment he runs out the bedroom door, a cop is already making his way up the stage. I would have jumped on a ride and hit some real spider. I would have jumped right here and fell on the ground and broke my neck. <laughs> Later, Officer Nate Wilson orders the student to blow into the breathalyzer, aware that a citation from the authorities will look poorly when included in a college scholarship application. Fact, run. He asks the cop if he has a sister who works at Westerbrook High School as a teacher. He begs the officer not to contact his mother and to call Claire instead because she's been tutoring him for several weeks now. Moments later, Claire receives a call from her brother who fills her in on the details of her student's predicament. The woman yeah, asks so him to just crazy. let this one indiscretion slide as a favor for her and says w she'll be there teacher. as soon as possible to pick w. up. So she tells Matt that one of her students is in trouble and she has to head out to help him. Meanwhile, Eric sits at the curb next to Allison who wonders how he's so lucky not to get a citation. Then her father arrives to pick her up. Later, Nate takes the student over to Claire's car, and the woman thanks her brother for doing her a favor. After the cop leaves, she admonishes the student for making poor decisions, and he apologizes. She asserts that he should never tell anyone about what happened tonight, including her brother bailing him out and Claire driving him a ride home, since it could Dang, result in Nate w, losing his big job. W's. When he calls... Big W's in chat, gang. Big W's in chat. Calls her Miss Wilson. She tells him that he doesn't need to be so formal when they aren't in school, and that he can just call her Claire. The next. Okay, week. that's when she messes up. That's a little too personal. I'm not gonna lie, cause he is a little teenager. He's a minor. You feel me? He's a minor. He better get some. He better clap some cheeks, my boy. I ain't gonna lie. He better go crazy. Good game. Type in on facts. My boy's going crazy. Morning, Eric prepares for his tutoring session at the diner later that day. As he's getting ready, his brother Phil calls on him and says there's a lady at the door. To his surprise, no. he finds Claire standing No! Out. What is she doing in his spot, bro? She's trying to smash his little boy. Imagine if the roles were reversed, bro. If there is a man doing that, you're cooked. Everybody coming down cooked in the comment section right now. If you see this side and invites her in. She says that he wasn't answering any of her calls, so she decided to head to his house to see if he was okay. The woman proposes that instead of doing their usual SAT prep, she'd like to take him somewhere else for the day. So Eric takes take somewhere his else. brothers Phil and Devin to the neighbors before the pair can head out. In the car, he asks the teacher where she's taking him, jokingly adding that he feels like he's being kidnapped. Claire reveals Bruh. that she's taking him to the University of Texas, or UT, 
see so she can show him around since it's also her alma mater. He While strolling through the campus, she asks him what his goals in life are and he says that he's always wanted to be a doctor because he wants to help people. Suddenly, a pickup truck stops in front of them and Cody, Logan's older brother who goes to UT, calls Eric over and invites him to a little shindig at their frat house happening in a few hours. Though apprehensive at first since he's with a teacher, Eric says he'll drop by after Claire encourages him to go. At the party, the woman Dang. reveals that this is her first official frat party. Dang, so she going to a party with a teenage boy. Her coat. He explains that she always commuted to school because she had to care for her alcoholic father and the responsibility. She old as hell. Of course, she pushing thirty, my boy. Social events when she was a student. He shares that he never met his father because when his mother became pregnant, he just left her. Claire encourages Dang. the teen not to let enjoyable experiences pass him by and that he should live his life to the fullest. Seconds later, Eric picks something from the woman's hair. Yo, why is she looking at him like that, yo? She's like, I'm finna suck your freaking ping, buddy. I'm about to suck your teenage ping, buddy. That's what, he, that's what she's saying. I look at her, she's like, oh, I'm gonna get a boy kissed. Ew. And his gentle touch leaves her flustered. They stare at each other for a beat before she breaks the gaze and says Bro, they should probably 16. head home. When she arrives home, she deletes his message where he expresses that he had a great time today. Meanwhile, Eric anticipates her reply. And when he looks at her Instagram profile, he sees that she still hasn't accepted his follow request. Dang. Claire enters the house and says, <gasps> What is she doing in the house, bro? She just pops up out of nowhere. She needs to be watched, bro. She needs a bell on her, my boy. She needs a bell on her. What is this teacher doing in this teenage house, bro? She, and where are the parents at? Where are the parents at? As the musical equipment Matt just bought, he explains that he met several doctors at his job who are also into music and want to form a band. The woman is irate that he spent money from their savings on something he never consulted her on. He argues that the money he used was from his grandfather's I'm bugging, bonds, I'm bugging, I'm bugging. but she counters that they were supposed to use it on something useful. Hurt, Matt says he's always loved music and feels that she isn't supportive. So to end their argument, she walks away. At home, Eric tells his mother Sandy that his teacher took him to UT for the day to show him around, which delights the older woman. That night while Matt is a sleep, his wife takes her phone and finally accepts her. What? Why are you doing this, dude? You're good, buddy. She finna smash my boy. She finna smash that little high schooler teenager, my boy. <laughs> bro, nah. Nah, bro. Chat, let me get a in chat. Let me get that in chat. Good again. Her students follow request. The next day, nah. Josh learns that neither Logan nor Eric are getting detention for what happened at the party, to his dismay. Then, Eric realizes that he can now view Claire's profile. He smiles, prompting his friend to ask what he finds so delightful. Fortunately, the bell rings, cutting their conversation short. Moments later, while standing by his locker, the student spots the woman standing outside a classroom. He opens up her profile and sees that she posted a picture of a tower in UT, with a caption that says she had Let's fun go, yesterday. Lori. Mustering up his courage, Dang. the teen walks up to Claire and asks if they can talk. So she leads him inside the room. He she asks her if she got her message yesterday, and she says yes. He thanks her for the tour around the campus before slowly approaching her. Suddenly, he kisses her on the lip. <gasps> In school, your teacher kissing a little bro. That's why, go chat. Everybody coming out wild right now, bro. Doing this in school is insane. That is crazy. In school, you're kissing your teacher is insane, my boy. You're cooked. You're actually cooked. Everybody's saying wild. I know it's wild, bro. I know it's crazy, right? You're cooked. Tips. And the surprised woman pushes him away and tells him to leave. Regretfully, Eric begins apologizing and for the door what open. He did and quickly leaves the room. The stunned woman sits down at her desk and touches her lips, shocked about what just transpired. The next morning, the teen wakes up from a dream where Claire pleasures him inside the class. They dream about each other. Yo, yo, what is this scene right here, bro? Hey, yo, that's kind of crazy. This room with his classmates all seated behind him. At the hospital, Claire and Matt meet with their doctor regarding their chances at conceiving. The physician bluntly told the woman that her uterus is rapidly deteriorating, which stresses her out. Before the couple part ways, the man says they can still consider in vitro fertilization, 
However, his wife reminds him that she's the one who'll have to undergo the invasive procedure. Stressed, Claire asks if they can continue their conversation at home because she is already running late for school. After yeah, she don't, class, she don't like that Eric man, bro. She don't like her so husband. He can once again apologize for what he did yesterday. The teacher emphasizes that what he did was not okay because if anyone finds out what they did, she's cooked. She is cooked. That's why. If anyone finds out she kissed a student, she is cooked, bro. She might be on everybody in the news channel, Peter, pedophile teenager, and she be marked as an ex-offender. Her life would be ruined. He promises that he'll never tell anyone about it and asks if she'll still tutor him. Appalled, Claire says she won't do it anymore and that it isn't her problem that he can't find anyone else. The student begs her to reconsider, citing that he can't afford the SAT prep courses that his classmates are able to attend. Sympathetic, Claire relents, but only if he promises that he won't do anything like that again. I feel like she low-key wanted it, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. She, she give me and I'm like, no, don't do it. But I want you to do it so bad. Soccer practice, Logan asks Eric if he's going to homecoming. The student hasn't made up his mind yet because he doesn't know who he's taking anyway. His friend encourages him to go, especially since he got several hotel rooms for the after party. Josh thinks he should just take Allison since Curious everyone knows DIY. they're just going to get it's back insane. together anyway. Later at the gymnasium, Claire and Catherine are helping the students decorate the space for the homecoming dance. Then she sees Eric asking Allison to the event which she accepts clearly bothering the teacher. She got jealous? She's a certified pedo, my boy. She has to go. She's cooked. She is actually cooked, my boy. She's getting jealous of a little teenage boy asking a girl out. Bro, girl, lady, aren't you pushing 30 or 40? Everybody spam W pedo in the comment section. Cause she's a pedo, my boy. She gotta go. That night, Matt wishes to continue their conversation regarding the doctor's visit that morning. However, his wife doesn't want to talk about it, stating that she just started at Westerbrook and thinks it might not be ideal to take hormones, as per the doctor's advice at the moment. So, man, she don't want your baby. She don't want you. She want my man. She want my man's at the school. Matt touches his wife's arm and assures her that he's willing to wait for whenever she's ready to take the next step. And says they gonna go he just wants to nah, start I doubt a family it. with her. The I next doubt it. day at Logan's house, Eric sees that Cody's also there. The college student asks him for an update regarding the woman he saw him with at UT. Logan feels betrayed that his friend never told him about a woman he's seeing. So Eric makes up a story that her name's Stephanie and that she goes to UT. When Logan asks him when they can meet his new woman, he says that things are hot and cold at the moment, but they'll meet her when the time is right. Then wow, he receives he several messages from Claire asking him where he is, but he chooses to ignore them. Meanwhile, the teacher is seated at the counter at the diner, wondering why her student hasn't shown up for their tutoring session. Before the dance, the seniors are at Logan's house pre-gaming. Logan's constant Dang. mentioning of the hotel rooms he booked upset Josh, who knows his sister Mary is going to the dance with his friend. Oh, she about to get clapped. <laughs> she about to get wrecked. <laughs> Dang, my boy. He, hey, look, hey, the face says it all, my boy. You're cooked. Your coke. At the dance, Catherine and Claire are in the storage closet Bro, complaining about how much they hate having to chaperone the event. Then the French teacher offers her stressed friend some liquor from a flask. In the gymnasium, Claire jealously watches Eric gyrating on the dance floor with Allison. Later, she confronts Dang. the team about why he never showed up for their study session. He apologizes, they kiss. so they she the reminds kiss. him that he begged her to continue tutoring him. Eventually, he admits that the reason he's been avoiding her is because he can't stop thinking about her. He can't be no. around her because he's too attracted to the teacher and doesn't want to get her in trouble. Stunned, the woman tells the student to return to the gymnasium. Minutes later, while Eric Eric stands by the punch table. He locks eyes with the woman from across the room. Oh, she's trying to go crazy, boy. That's them free. That's them elf me eyes right there. Get a gang. Yo, that's insane. That's crazy. She gives him a knowing look and heads for the exit. 
Eric follows her to the parking lot and silently gets in her car. She drives to a deserted area and turns no. the engine off. Claire turns to him and says that they don't have to go through with it if he doesn't want to, but Eric says that he does. So the teacher orders him to head to the back seat where she joins him shortly. Eventually, no. she takes his coat off. They share a kiss and proceed to make love. No way! She smashed the teacher and no one found out! Good again, I have a question for you, right? If you was clapping the teacher, right, would you tell? I wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't tell, you feel me? Yo, boy, I wouldn't tell. I wouldn't tell. Me, I wouldn't tell, my boy. I would not tell. You feel me? But if it was a, if it was a guy to a girl, you're cooked, my boy. I'm not going to lie. You're cooked. You're cooked. You're cooked. You're cooked, buddy. So, guys, thank y'all for watching the video. We're live on Twitch. Zars, um, YT. It's my Twitch channel. Go follow it. I love y'all, boys. Everybody say bye, YouTube.